think it's a funny one. I mean, if you talk to your teammates or, or talk to some people who, who have played the game, they think it's easier for an all runner because you have that opportunity to come back in that game if you do fail with one bat or ball. Um, but I believe that it's it's actually a bit more stressful because you've got to give that much more time and thinking into that process of how you want to bat that game and how do you want to bowl. And on top of that, you don't get someone to feel for you. You've got to feel as well. Watson is, is someone obviously gifted um, as a cricketer. I mean, obviously he started his his career bowling rapid at 150. Uh, not too many people know about it, but he was actually someone who bowled rapid when he was young, and yep. had a test fractures through that, and that's why he kind of went into the path of concentrating more on his batting because he could not be able to bowl that many overs and spells. So he's again a good example of a guy who. Started at number six, seven, but still went on, worked on his batting, and then opened the batting for Australia and all his franchises in T20 cricket. I learned a lot from from Watto. I think Watto's presence in a dressing room was everything. Uh, me being an all rounder, obviously looked up to him as a kid. I mean, I wasn't that young when he was around playing cricket, but I did watch him while I was playing domestic cricket, and, and the way he. He kind of went into games with his mindset. So I think that's how he helped me understand that uh, sometimes you will have bad days with the ball, but you can come back at, with the bat. I think that's what I learned from him. We were batting together, I think it was against the Chennai Super Kings in Jaipur. And um, I think we were we were chasing about 190 in, in, in that game. And we mm. went in, I went in, we were 65 for 5. And Watson wow. was batting 25 at that point of time. And um, he ended up getting 90 plus in that game and I got 49 uh, nice. and we won it without losing a wicket after that and I remember him telling me, you know, there was a stage in that game where I was going well um, mm. and I was getting the boundaries and I was getting the mm. sixes. Basically, I was playing taking on spin and he was taking on seam. So, we mm. trying to compl- I mean, complemented each other that way and I remember him telling me, you know, I'm going to play second fiddle to you and I just looked at him and I said, are you serious? So, you have to say fiddle to Bini. I was like a punch club and said, okay, we'll take it from him. Because Andre on his day would probably be a match winner or or just not be in the match. Um, he's someone mm. who turned top. Look, I mean, it's there in the open. That's how we, as cricketers, when we played in the IPL, were the most afraid of guys like that who turned up or who didn't turn up. We didn't know which Andre Russell was turning up. Correct. So, that's the most dangerous guys in T20 trade where they just can play six balls and finish a game for you. If I picked him in a side, I wouldn't really be too bothered about him winning me 10 matches, you know. I would rather win, want him to win me three of the most important games ever. And yeah. he gives you that opportunity in a game. I mean, he would have never got runs through that league phase and he's proved it for KKR. He just went berserk yeah. in the playoffs and he took them again to that championship or close to winning that. I mean, that's what the type of guy who you close your eyes basically and just send him in and pray, you know, this kid come out. <laughs> yeah, look with Kyron, it's 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 he's someone who who has so much belief, he has so much attitude, he's, he's got the game, he knows he can deliver with the bat at any given yeah. stage in the T20 game. I think with him, why he would be a match winner is because purely can win you games by just in and over. Yeah. Uh, he can take that over away from that bowling side, even on his first ball that he bats. He's not someone who holds back. Uh, you've seen him bat for Mumbai Indians, he'll walk in, they may be needing 10 overs, they may need 110 and he gets it with an over to spare. Yeah. Um, he's not someone who really a lot of teams have depended on with the ball, but definitely he's someone in the field who makes a big impact. Yes, he does. Yes, whether he and that is... out and catches or whether he does. So. Shakib is someone who he is a pure all rounder. He can bat, and he can play oh, yeah. as a bat, and he can play as a bowler as well. I mean, a lot of all rounders favor either batting or bowling, but if we look at Shakib, Shakib is someone who kind of will give you pure batsman or pure bowler. 
and that's something that is very very consistent also with him he does it day in day out and i personally feel coming from from a country like bangladesh uh, who haven't yes they've been around for long but haven't right. really been in the exposure like say yeah. a west indies or a, or a yeah. australia or a india or england i right. think what probably helped him also at that point of time because he was so gifted and there's so much responsibility um on his shoulders i think it made him that type of player he knew that it was him and who had to carry bangladesh cricket and i think that's what made him a great cricketer and a great great leader for them as well ben has gone through some stuff in his career yeah. uh which obviously we all all of us have wished him well and i mean it's nice to see him healthy again having said that i mean for all the viewers out there i mean um I have never personally seen a cricketer who is fitter than him. Yeah. Uh, also, the amount of dedication and hard work that guy puts into his game, I have personally never seen a cricketer do that much on a on a cricket field. He would bat for two hours. He would bowl for another two hours, and no break. Probably have a can of Red Bull and go straight into a fielding session for an hour, an hour and twenty. And he did it with not a hundred percent. He did it with a hundred and ten percent. He gave everything on that cricket field and. and you know all due respect that is why he is where he is today stuart binney's top 5 all time t20 all rounders ben stokes shakibul hasan kyron pollard andre russell shane watson